John Wyback here with Ultimate Motorcycling. And I'm sitting down here with the, the guy that's behind the HP4 race. Could you introduce yourself to the audience? My name is uh, Joseph Machler. I'm working for BMW Motorrad. I'm there responsible as a product manager for four-cylinder and six-cylinder. Okay. Yeah, he has a lot of passion. He's a hell of a rider, too, so that was awesome. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, the HP4 race? I mean, just like design influences, like where, you know, why did you go full carbon? Like yeah, that? okay, yeah, that's the, the goal behind the bike was uh, to build a real brutal bread race bike and to show the innovation power of BMW. Okay. Carbon rims are done, but not by OEM, but the frame, we are the first with the frame and we want to show the people how you use carbon in the right technology, what carbon is able to provide and to deliver. All right. Did a lot of that technology filter down from the cars? Absolutely. If you are just a motorcycle brand without the car brand from our BMW i8, i3, you're not able to do that. Okay. You need this pre-development knowledge from the car side and then you can put it on the motorcycle. It's okay. different, but you have some certain level and you can start on this kind of level. Okay. Now weight savings on this bike. I mean, I got to ride them back to back and it was just a tip in which is beautiful. Yeah, it was really, our goal was to be under, I have to say in kilo, yeah. sorry. Yeah, sorry. We'll try we, uh, our goal was to be under 107 kilo dry weight. Okay. And then we come in the end, dry weight means without fuel. Mm -hmm. So then now we are 160 kilo with, wow. with a little bit fuel in close park Fermi condition. That means we're just three, three and a half kilo heavier than a MotoGP bike. Wow. And <laughs> with any fuel or battery or that, we are run on 146 kilo. Wow. wow that's, that's really, really. <laughs> it's not a level. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like th th you're missing the engine when you push the bike around. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, totally. Yeah. I like, felt it immediately. The, now, what, what is the weight savings on this compared to the standard S1000R? 40 kilo. 40 kilo? Yeah. Wow. Oof, just from that. Now you said the the wheels they're full carbon, but yeah. they, who who actually makes the wheels? The base materials come from BMW. Okay. The engineered by us, con the construction, the process, and then we have a supplier. It's a Thyssen Group. Thyssen Group is an old steel manufacturer. They make as well elevator and all that stuff. Okay. And they go in innovation and they come to us and say, hey, we are interested. We are coming with this binding machine. They have this technology and say, okay, let's try, and. Uh, Works pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Now the swing arm. That's yeah. Yes, right? swing arm. We was thinking about swing. Should we go in carbon with the swing arm or not? Then we decide. Okay, our swing arm, which we are using in the World Superbike with Suzuki Ducati, it works perfect. It was the swing arm which Just Davis and Marco uh, Marco yeah. Melandi was yeah. racing close to the World Superbike title. So uh, then we said, no, that makes no sense for us. Let, let invest in the frame with the carbon. Okay. All right, now onto the engine. We have 215 horsepower. Yeah. That thing. Minimum. It, it may, <laughs> uh, I was seeing 183 on the back stretch, yeah. and that made me very happy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but could you explain like a little bit uh, what you guys did to the engine? To okay, the engine is really built up by hand in our HP department, race department. Primarily, it's the World Superbike engine. Okay. So the cylinder head is coming from the endurance, so it's for durability. We reduce a little bit the refing because of World Superbike, we ref 100 <laughs> RPMs higher. Wow. So we ref now to 40,600. We have a hand special Conrad's uh, piston. We balance the, the piston. We, everything is built up for, by one man. Then we run in the engine on a dyno. After we have it run in, we change the oil, control all, all oil channels, take out the spark make endoscopy in the cylinder, look if the, uh, about the piston, about the valve, put them together, new oil, and put it again on the dyno, and then we measure. We run in the engine on the dyno, and it wow. must have minimum 120 newton meters and 215 horsepower. So if you take the, the engine, the bike, and go to somewhere on the dyno, you will see 225, something like that. <laughs> 220. You can definitely feel that. <laughs> Man, that thing is amazing. They have no chance with the double R to stay in the slipstream of the HP4. They just yeah. fall out. Now there's three riding modes on that. Yeah. It, it's it's three in the dry. It's intermediate, okay. dry one, dry two. So intermediate is literally if it's really, really cold or wet, then you can go that because a lot of power reduction. 
the audible traction control is really, really yeah. comes early. And the dry one is for, for to understand, to learn. You have power reduction first, second, third, gear fourth as well a little bit. Always really control is on. And in dry two, that's we switch off the wheelie control, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay. Uh, so you have to do it in the right Yeah, twist. I felt that on yeah. <laughs> fifth gear, just floating the front wheel. Yeah, you're on the back straight, where it <laughs> goes downhill, and you can <laughs> make, make a wheelie in the fifth yeah, gear. Pretty, pretty sick, man. The electronics work beautiful yeah. on that. Uh, did now the adjustability too? Do you guys are the? Could you adjust like? Just close your eyes and dream. You can okay. adjust the handlebar. You can adjust the ride height on the rear. You have, a, it comes with the bike, pivot, three, four different kind of pivots for the swing arm. You get a three sprocket in the front, four sprocket on the rear. So you can really adjust the bike. For this track, it's a little bit too short gear. So for tomorrow, if you have yeah. it the other day, yeah, <laughs> then yeah. you can make it a little bit longer. Then you have the offset, can adjust the offset, really everything what, what you like to do. All right. And now the suspension, is that from World Superbike technology it's, too? It, it's World Superbike. It's it really, it's the same suspension which our, all the teams are using in the World Superbike. It's the Erlins FGR 300 yeah. fork. Okay. The brakes, the GP4PR, P for professional racing. They have other ones, RR, that's for road racing. That's professional racing. They are normally used in the wet in the MotoGP. Okay. Or Moto2 in the dry or Moto3 World Superbike. The brake discs are thicker, there's 6.75 mils. Okay. So more temperature stability, T floated, so really racing stuff. All right. Yeah, because I really felt, I mean, combined with those wheels, those brakes were beautiful. But there, like you said, it was that nice initial, yeah. and they got, like, especially at the back stretch, yeah. I mean, you could really yeah. ride yeah. on those, those brakes. And on the wheels, you say it, the wheels, each wheel is 800 gram, 900 grams lighter than our forged wheels, but we found the, the weight outside. And that's what the benefit. So you have the spinning wheel, and you don't have to break down the, the, the force, the weight outside. Yeah, that's what, yeah. It's same in an acceleration, and if you turn in, in corners. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, riding those bikes back to back between HP4 yeah. Race and the S1000R, the S's back here were just unbelievable. I mean, yeah. that bike was just a like tip in, tip in. And when I got on the S1000R, I'm like, still one of the best motorcycles yeah. out there. but. It felt like, like yeah. It felt like actually. like we have a pillion ride. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what's this happening? Yeah, so, that's really crazy. But yeah, any anything else you wanna, you know, stuff uh, about the bike? I mean, besides, I wanna I wanna hit price. So I don't know. I seventy eight. Seventy eight in yeah. the states. We have seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, seven hundred fifty worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. Uh, we sell it very well. Yeah. So we are happy for customer, but they have to a little bit speed up. If someone has the idea to buy one. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna go. Go to the dealer and. All Do right. it. Hey, perfect. So I need Thank you. Hey, hey. Awesome meeting and riding with you too, man. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks. <laughs>